Lost keys. Pepper and her family have been for a lovely day out in the mountains. Time to go home. Back to the car. Thank you for visiting the mountain beauty spot. See you again soon. <coughs> no, George. You can't play with the car keys. You might lose them. <coughs> You'll play with the car keys, Daddy. But I'm a grown-up. I'm not going to lose them. <coughs> oh, dear. Daddy Pig has dropped the car keys down a drain. Oh. oh. Right. Let's go home. Um, that might be difficult. Why? Daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, Daddy Pig! Don't worry. I'll get the keys out of the drain with a stick. Hooray! Hmm. The drain must be deeper than I thought. The stick is not long enough to reach the keys. What we need is a fishing rod. Then we can catch the keys on a hook. Maybe Miss Rabbit sells fishing rods. Uh, do you sell fishing rods? We do, actually. I don't know why. You don't get fish in the mountains. We're not fishing for fish. We're fishing for keys. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, you'll never get those back. That drain's really deep. What are drains for? A drain takes the rainwater away to the sea. The fishing line is not long enough to reach the keys. My goodness! How deep is this drain? We can see how deep it is by dropping a stone. Good idea, Miss Rabbit. We can count how long the stone takes to reach the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is deep. Told you. What can we do now? It is Mr Pool and his friends. Digger! Crane! George loves diggers and cranes. Hello, everybody! Hello, Hello Mr, Mr Bull. Bull. Welcome to the mountain beauty spot. Have you come to do some work? No, it's our day off, so we came to enjoy the beauty spot. You can see for miles, boss. Yes, it's very pretty. Uh, Mr Bull, could we borrow your crane for a minute? What for? My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Say no more. I'll have them out in no time. Mr Rhino, the crane, please. Stand clear. Down she goes. How lucky Mr Bull came along when he did. Yes, now we'll finally get our keys back. That's as far as she goes, Chief. Mr Bull is the chief. Did you find our keys? No. <gasps> the crane isn't long enough. Now what shall we do? Easy. We'll dig up the road. Hooray! <laughs> Mr Bull is digging up the beauty spot. Stop. What's going on? We came to see the beauty spot. Uh, they're digging it up right now. Won't be long. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh. oh! Hold it! Hold it! It's the keys! We've got them! Hooray! There you go! Thank you, Mr Bull. Oh, it was nothing! Uh, where's the beauty spot gone? The mountain beauty spot is now a big hole. It's a cave now! Welcome to the cave beauty spot. Ooh! All thanks to my daddy. Uh, and Mr Bull. Yes, I'm good at digging holes. Mr Bull loves digging holes. <laughs> Everybody loves digging holes. <laughs> Bedtime story. It is night time. Daddy Pig is reading Pepper and George a bedtime story. And so the prince, the princess, the budgie and the frog all lived happily ever after. The end. The bedtime story has sent Pepper and George to sleep. Good night, my little piggies. George is awake. I saw.
George, you naughty piggy. Go back to sleep. George is not sleepy. George, night time is for sleeping, not playing. <laughs> I can tell you a bedtime story. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a little pig. His name was Georgie Pig. <laughs> and he was off to make his fortune. Soon he came to a forest. Do you like the story, George? <laughs> Inside the forest was a little house. And inside the house was a bowl of porridge. <coughs> Georgie Pig was very hungry, so he ate it all up. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> but just as he finished, Baby Bear walked in and said, Oi, did you eat my magic porridge? Georgie said, Yes. Baby Bear said, That was magic porridge. It will make you go very big. And then Georgie Pig began to grow. He grew and he grew and he grew until he was taller than all of the trees in the forest. The end. Are you sleepy, George? No. Not even a little bit? No. <sighs> OK, I'll do a bit more story. Baby Bear said there is a box of golden treasure at the end of the world. But it's too far for me to go because I'm too little. Georgie said I will carry you there. So Georgie Pig walked to the end of the world. He walked and he walked and he walked. Are you sleepy yet? No. He walked through forests, across mountains, across seas. And are you sleepy yet? No. He walked all the way to the end of the world and found a big box of golden treasure. Ooh. And a big dragon. Grrr. Yes, a big green dragon with little wings and breathing fire. Roar! Luckily, it was a very friendly dragon. And he said, you can have the treasure. But then Georgie Pig began to shrink. He shrank and he shrank and he shrunk until he was the same little Georgie Pig as he was before. How will we get back home now? said Baby Bear. I can fly you home, said the dragon. So Georgie Pig and Baby Bear hopped on the dragon's back and flew all the way back home to the little house in the forest. And then it's the end. George is asleep. Pepper is asleep. Pepper, what are you doing out of bed? Night time is for sleeping, not playing. Night, night, my little piggies. Sweet dreams. Pepper and George are in their little beds, fast asleep. Madam Gazelle's sleeping party. <laughs> it is home time at Pepper's playgroup. Children, next week there won't be any playgroup. What? Madam Gazelle. I am going away. Oh. Goodbye, children. Goodbye, Madam Gazelle. Pepper and George are home from playgroup. Mummy, there is no more playgroup. No more playgroup? Madam Gazelle is going away. I suppose she has been teaching a long time. Madam Gazelle taught all the mummies and daddies when they were children. Madam Gazelle taught me everything I know. Who can count to three? One, two, three. <laughs> Thinking about it, Madam Gazelle must be very old. Which is probably why she's decided to stop teaching. I know. We should give Madam Gazelle a leaving party. <laughs> 
Sounds fun! It is the day of Madame Gazelle's leaving party. Everyone has come to help. Pedro, you stay outside and tell us if Madame Gazelle's coming along. Why? We don't want Madame Gazelle catching us getting her party ready. Or it wouldn't be a surprise. OK. I hope we've invited everyone. What about Madame Gazelle's old friends? Wasn't she once in a pop group? That's right. She played guitar with the rocking gazelles. Hello, rocking gazelles? Hello, Madame Gazelle is leaving the playgroup. Gigi leaving? How sad. We're having a party. A party? What fun. We'll be there. Good. Everyone's coming. Now, let's make the party food. This is the playgroup kitchen. Everyone is helping with the party food. Emily Elephant and Wendy Wolf are decorating cupcakes. I'll do the icing. I always think of the hundreds and thousands. <laughs> Pepper and George are making jelly. Wobbly jelly. <laughs> wobble, wobble, wobble. <laughs> Pedro Pony is outside keeping guard. Here comes Madame Gazelle. Madame Gazelle is coming. We're not ready. Stop her, Pedro. OK. Hello, Pedro. You're early for playgroup? Yes. Don't go inside. Why not? It's a nice day out here, isn't it? Uh, yes, Pedro. Can I go inside now? Uh, no. It's... Against the law. What are you talking about, Pedro? We're ready. You can go in now. Surprise! For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. And I shall say all of us. Hooray! Here is a present for you. An antique clock. Ooh! It's made of solid plastic. Thank you. But why is there a party for me? Everyone wanted to thank you for being the best teacher in the world. So, we've made you a leaving party. Because you're going away forever. I'm not going away forever. But you said there was no more playgroup. Oh, Pepper. All I said was, no playgroup next week. I'm going on holiday. Oh! I will be teaching for many years to come. Who else could be the teacher? No one! I'm very happy Madame Gazelle is not leaving. Yes, and I can't think of a better reason for a party. And every party needs music. <gasps> Oh, oh, the rocking gazelles! Hello, Gigi. Have you still got your guitar? <laughs> of course. Let's uh, rockety rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. The wishing well. Grandpa Pig is showing Pepper and George around his garden. Here are my cabbages, broccoli, and sprouts. Ooh. Potatoes, carrots, and beetroots live here. And over there is the fruit. What is this, Grandpa? That, Pepper, is a weed. What is a weed? A weed is a cheeky plant growing in the wrong spot. Oh. Pull it out and throw it in this bucket. There's no room for weeds in my tidy garden. <laughs> Grandpa Pig is very proud of his garden. Maybe there is room to grow a little strawberry here. In the middle of my carrots? No, Peppa. Strawberries belong with a fruit. Everything has its place. Isn't that right, Granny Pig? Yes, Grandpa. Can we find a little place for this? Uh, no. What is it, Granny? It's a plastic gnome, Peppa. And he's going to live in our garden. Oh, no, he isn't. There's no room. There's plenty of room. What about here? I can't have that ugly thing looking at me all day. Pepper, George, do you think my gnome looks ugly? No, Granny. I think he looks cute. <laughs> there, Grandpa. You're outnumbered. 
the gnome stays. Ah! And here come the rest of them. What? Mr Bull is bringing Mr Gnome a truckload of new friends. Yippee! But gardens are for plants, not plastic. Moo! Where do you want the gnomes? We don't want gnomes, thank you. Oh! Goodbye. No! Naughty Grandpa Pig, those are Granny Pig's gnomes. Oh, it appears we do want gnomes. Okie dokie! They're lovely! Use this as well! Cheerio! Thank you, Mr. Ball. Goodbye! Bye bye! What's this? A giant gnome? No, Grandpa, it's a well. What is a well? A well, Pepper, is a very deep hole with water in it. Ooh. And as it happens, I do need water for my garden, so a well will be useful. But that is not a well. It's made of plastic and there's no hole. It's beautiful. What's the point of a well without water? It's a wishing well. You throw a coin into it and make a wish. Can I make a wish, Granny? Of course, Pepper. Here's a little coin. I wish, I wish, I wish. Well, don't tell us what you're wishing for. OK. Finished! Very good. Granny, do the wishes always come true? Yes. Oh, goody. But now it's time for Grandpa to take you home. Bye-bye, Granny. Bye-bye. Goodbye, my little ones. Grandpa, you are very lucky having a wishing well in your garden. Do you think so, Peppa? Yes. You can wish for things whenever you want. Hmm. And the wishes always come true, because Granny Pig said so. Yes. Do you want to know what I wished for, Grandpa? What did you wish for, Peppa? I wish that I could have a wishing well and gnomes in my garden. Oh, well, I think we can do that. Peppa and George have arrived home. Mummy, Daddy, I made a wish and it came true. Really? What did you wish for, Peppa? Lots of gnomes and a wishing well for our garden. <sighs> oh. Uh, Grandpa Pig, I don't think we have enough room. Nonsense! You've got plenty of room. Uh, yes. I suppose so. <laughs> Pepper and George love gnomes and wishing wells. Everybody loves gnomes and wishing wells. The pet competition. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, tomorrow we will have a pet competition. Bring your pets to school. The best pet will win a prize. I'm going to bring my pet goldfish. I'm going to bring my stick insect. I will bring my gecko. I'm going to bring monkey. Ooh, ooh, that's not a real pet. It's a doll. It's not a doll. It's monkey. Ooh, 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 ooh. He likes you, Danny. Zoe can bring monkey if she wants to. Home time, children. <laughs> Don't forget your pets for the competition tomorrow. It is the evening before the pet competition. Pepper and Susie are getting Goldie the fish ready. Eat up, Goldie. You've got a big day tomorrow. I will polish your bowl. <laughs> Lovely. Pedro is talking to his stick insect. A stick insect is an insect that looks like a stick. Tomorrow, you will come with me to playgroup. They will decide who is the best pet. And it will be you. Edmund Elephant is talking to his gecko. Watch me. <coughs> now you do it. <coughs> Zoe Zebra is talking to her monkey. Are you excited about the competition, monkey? <coughs> Remember to be good tomorrow. Don't be a cheeky monkey. <laughs> it is the day of the pet competition. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, who is going to decide which pet is the best? Dr Hamster. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Oh, what lovely pets you've got. That's a happy little fish. What 
What's its name? It's Goldie. You've met her before. She's got a very shiny bowl. <laughs> what does Goldie like doing? She likes swimming around and going like this. Wonderful. And who is this? This is my stick insect. What's his name? Stephen. What does he do? He looks like a stick. Amazing. Oh, what kind of animal is this? It is a gecko. Does he have a name? Hemidactylus frenatus. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Right. And what does he do? This. <coughs> oh, who's next? Ooh, 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 monkey. Is he meant to be upside down? Yes, he's asleep. Oh, I see. Well, he's lovely. I've brought my pet too. Tiddles the tortoise. He likes climbing trees and... Who's the winner? <coughs> yes, who's won the prize? Oh, the prize goes to... <coughs> Tiddles the tortoise. <gasps> Dr Hamster has picked her own pet to win the prize. That's not fair! It's your own pet! Oh, no! This is only the prize for the best tortoise. The prize for the best fish goes to... Goldie the Fish! Hooray! The prize for the best gecko goes to... The Gecko! Hooray! The prize for the pet who looks most like a stick goes to Stephen. Hooray! The prize for the best monkey... Dr Hamster, he's not a real monkey. He's just pretend. The prize for the best pretend monkey goes to Monkey. Hooray! But Dr Hamster, which is the best pet of all? All of them. They're all happy, healthy pets. They're lovely. <laughs> George's new dinosaur. <laughs> George is playing with his favourite toy, Mr Dinosaur. George loves playing with Mr Dinosaur. Mr Dinosaur is made of plastic. It is almost impossible to break him. <laughs> dinosaur. Grr. George loves playing with Mr. Dinosaur in the bath. <laughs> At night time, George always takes Mr. Dinosaur to bed with him. Dinosaur. Grr. George, Mr. Dinosaur is broken. Oh. Mr. Dinosaur does not have a tail anymore. <laughs> Poor George. You have had Mr. Dinosaur a long time. I'm surprised he lasted as long as he did. Maybe it's about time you got a new dinosaur. Yes, we can go to Mr. Fox's shop tomorrow. This is Mr. Fox's shop. Mr. Fox's shop sells everything. I'm sure we'll find you a lovely new dinosaur here, George. I'm sure. George does not want a new dinosaur. Look, George, a big dinosaur. <gasps> dinosaur. <laughs> Good morning. Can I help you? We'd like the dinosaur in the window, please. Certainly. Good choice. This is the dino roar. It roars, it walks... And it sings a dinosaur song. Dino roar, dino roar, listen to the dino roar. Roar! Wow! wow. Dino roar! <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> roar! <laughs> George is playing with dino roar in the garden. Don't play too roughly with dino roar, George. He has moving parts and might get broken. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden. George wants to play with Dino Roar in the bath. George, if you get Dino Roar wet, he'll stop working. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the bath. 
It is night time. George has taken Dino Roar to bed with him. Roar! <gasps> George! Dino Roar! Dino Roar has woken me up! Maybe Dino Roar should sleep somewhere else. George cannot have Dino Roar in his bed at night. It is morning. Why is George looking so sad? George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden, in the bath, or in bed. Never mind, George. Dino Roar can still roar. Dino Roar, Dino Roar, listen to the Dino Roar. Yeah. Oh. I think the batteries must have run out, Daddy Pig. Already? How many batteries are in here? Hundreds and thousands. Dino Roar needs lots of batteries to make him roar. Oh, what's this? A trumpet? <laughs> it doesn't work. Dinosaur. <laughs> Not a trumpet, Pepper. You found Mr. Dinosaur's tail. Oh. Now Daddy Pig can mend him. I'll try. Hmm. I think it might be quite difficult to mend. Oh. Daddy Pig has mended Mr. Dinosaur. Hooray! Oh, oh. I am a bit of an expert at mending things. George loves Mr. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur, dinosaur, hello, Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> 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 Mr. Dinosaur is George's favourite toy in the whole world. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit's Dinosaur Park. Today is Freddy Fox's birthday, and all the children are going on a big adventure. Where are we going for your birthday, Freddy? I don't know, but I can't wait to get there. We're here! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Grumpy Rabbit's Dinosaur Park! Ooh! Dinosaur! <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. Are there really dinosaurs here? No, just pretend ones. Phew! Real dinosaurs died out 65 million years ago. Edmund knows a lot about dinosaurs. He is a clever clogs. But we've got better than real dinosaurs. We've got singing dinosaurs! We are the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs. We are the dinosaurs. Listen to us, <laughs> They're a bit small. Yes. Aren't dinosaurs meant to be big? Ah, oh, yes. We do have a big dinosaur. A real whopper. Uh, would you like to meet it? Yes, please. These are its footprints. We just have to follow them. Ooh. These footprints look very real. Are you sure there's no living dinosaurs about, Grumpy Rabbit? Uh, quite sure, Daddy Pig. Over the boulders, everyone! <laughs> Across the bridge! <laughs> Through the cave! <laughs> oh, the footprints have stopped. Look! There are some green steps. It's a big slide! Whee! 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 Wow! It's a big dinosaur! Yes! It's my whopping ginormous dinosaur slide! Ah! That is some dinosaur. He's a brontosaurus. Actually, the correct name is a patasaurus. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. Right, my little explorers. Are you ready for the next bit of the adventure? Yes, Frankie Rabbit. We have to find an egg. An egg? But eggs are little. It could be any 
everywhere. Leave it to me. Foxes love hunting for eggs. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Wow! What an egg! It's huge! Why is the egg so big? It's a dinosaur egg! Is it real? No, it's better than real. It's pretend. Watch this. <laughs> the dinosaur egg has a birthday cake inside it. <laughs> it's not a pretend cake, is it, Grumpy Rabbit? No, the cake is very real and very tasty. Who wants some? Me! Me! Me. Birthday boy first. Here you go, Freddy. <sighs> Happy birthday, Freddy! <laughs> Time for a bit of song and dance. Everyone, copy me. Do the stomp, do the dinosaur stomp, do the roar, do the dinosaur roar. Stomp, 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 roar, roar, roar. Do the dinosaur stomp, stomp, roar. <laughs> <laughs> this is my best birthday. 